I may be clean when I bring this word to you. And, if, and, and, and I prayed about it just now. And, and, and I prayed about it this morning and asked God to forgive me for the evil thoughts that is within me. Amen. So what, what is within us was called us to be defiled. Amen. Not what comes from the outside. But it's already in us before it comes from the outside we have already seen it. That's why we must ask for forgiveness. So if any of you have sinned already in 2011, mm -hmm. let's come together and let, let's pray and ask God to forgive us for being defiled from what is in, what, what is in us. Amen. You, you might not have committed adultery or, or cheated or stole, or, or you might have. Mm -hmm. But if an evil thought has filled your heart, yes, yeah. if you had a prideful spirit, lied or cheated or your, your eye have deceived you yes, yes. you committed sin uh -huh. yes, yes. and it's time to pray yes, and ask God to forgive us and make us clean yes. that we may preach his word and also receive his yes. word yes. Amen. Amen. Amen Our Father which art in heaven yes, 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 yes. Lord we thank you for waking us up early this morning and we thank you for last night's lying down that it wasn't on the cooling board. And Lord, if we have committed sins, we ask that you forgive us right now, Lord, and have mercy on our souls. And Lord, we ask you right now to use us in a mighty way, Father, as we go on this Christian journey, Father, telling men and women, boys and girls, about your Son, Jesus Christ. Father, whatever sins we have committed, please have mercy right now. That we may be clean and pure and receive your word into our hearts and live according to your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. To Elder Lewis, we're glad that you're back among the flock. And I can say for myself that I miss you. I believe the whole congregation miss you. Amen. 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 Miss your wife. And we're just glad to have you back on Monday. We know that God is able to do wonderful and miracle things. Amen. 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 We thank God for letting us be here today. And I won't be with you long. I just want to share a few words with you. That we may be edified. That someone might be saved. Amen. God is a good God. Yes, he is. And he's a mighty God. Yes, he is. Still in the miracle working business. Yes, he is. Amen. Yes. Thank all the visitors and friends that are here today. And thank God for a, a new year. And I pray that our new year may get started well. And we may go into the, the next year doing the things that God has asked us to do. Amen. Amen. Thank the choir for their songs. That they have sung to us today. Thank the ushers. Thank Brother White for his song that he, he gave us today. Amen. Amen. If you will turn with me to the Gospel according to St. John. Verse number 6. Chapter number 6, I'm sorry. The Gospel according to St. John, chapter number 6. We'll be begin reading in verse number 31. Gospel according to St. John, chapter 6, verse number 31. Our fathers did eat mountain in the desert. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father has given you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God, for the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then said they unto him, Lord, Forevermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. 
He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I say unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. All that cometh, all that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but, of, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every man, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up the last day. The Jews then mumbled at him because he said, I am the bread which cometh down from heaven. And they said, Is not this Jesus the son of Job, whose father and mother we know? How is it that he then that he said, I came down from heaven? Jesus therefore answered and said to them, Mumble not among yourself. No man come to me except the Father which has sent me, draw him, and I will raise him up the last day. It is written in the prophets that they all shall be taught of God. Every man therefore that has heard and has learned of the Father cometh unto me. Not that any man has seen the Father, save we he which is of God. He has seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me have everlasting life. I am that bread of life. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the true bread from heaven. Jesus is the true bread from heaven. And I want to talk about bread for a few minutes. 